Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. Let's continue playing as Paul, shall we? We're pretty well equipped here, and this next section is pretty damn cool. Welcome to Alfred Town. Okay. So we're not on the island anymore, that's for sure. Let's investigate. So this is where they were before they transitioned to the mansion. Hmm. See what they mean in prior journals where they were saying uh, they were living in squalor. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a shanty town. Probably wouldn't want to live here. Anyway. This place is derelict. My god. Looks like nobody's home. Ah, supplies. Well, that's... That's not good. What the hell? Well, this ain't good. Luckily, we've got our trusty combat knife, which... Oh, my God. I can't believe it actually bit me. Let's play as Curse. This knife is incredibly powerful. It kills enemies really fast. But so does our trusty handgun. Oh, we've got a pooch on our tail. The dogs are the biggest threat here, big time. Now, we don't need to worry too much about how things go here because there are so many supplies, it's actually ridiculous. Not gonna lie. There are almost too many supplies. I also like that siren sounding off. It lends to a wonderful atmosphere here. Now, I wanted to show the knife off, but honestly, there is no point in actually using it because the amount of ammo here is borderline ridiculous. In fact, it's not borderline ridiculous, it's insane. When I finished playing this uh, earlier, I actually had over 140 bullets left, which is crazy. Okay, let's just keep wailing on the locals for now. I'm not sure how this section actually plays out. I do believe you're on a bit of a time limit here. So we've got some more magnum rounds. Some more handgun bullets. We like these things. These things are our friends. Easy love. Look, I didn't want to be here either, okay? I'm just saying. Now, I don't think we can actually smash that. Oh, we've got more dogs. We've got more dogs. Dogs are so... Ooh, hello! <laughs> There's a chainsaw guy behind us. That's fine. That's totally fine. Now, this guy is sort of a dick. But he's not quite as bad as you would imagine. Let's just keep running. We could probably use the magnum on him, but... He's honestly not that tough. And I thought I could hear someone behind us. Somebody that shouldn't be behind us. Ow. Might actually have to use some health there, which I didn't have to before. You know what? Let's use that. It's fine. When I say there's plenty, I really do mean it. Get rid of the dogs. Oof. Almost. You know, maybe we will just polish this guy off of the Magnum. Because he's putting a lot of pressure on us. Right, as you can see, he re really isn't that much to write home about. The 
dogs are definitely the problem here. They're squidgily little fuckers. Just try and keep these guys back as best we can for now. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Yep, not a fan of dogs in this game. At all. Bad one. Bad one. I actually can't believe how terribly we're doing here. Right, dogs are down. That's cool. Now we can run around and grab some supplies. Shoot, shoot. And also, let's get that magnum fully loaded. Okay, now it's just zombies. Until a little bit later, anyway. Grab you. Grab you. There shouldn't be any more dogs. Hopefully. Grab some bullets. What else do we want here? Ooh, more bullets. Good. Bullets are a man's best friend, apparently. Especially in this area. We've got nothing down here. Unfortunately. Not sure if like the there are some random locational context spawns or anything like that. And that was a load of words, wasn't it? Let's push back the locals a little bit. Yeah, gotta get used to the fact this is only a six shooter. It's definitely more powerful though. But you can see, oh shit, just how many supplies there are. You don't have to worry about uh, running out of anything. What do we got here? Bullets, bandages. See, we've played terribly and we've still got tons of health. And there's still plenty of health left in the game as well. Uh oh. That's not good. This guy's taking him like a champion. Now he's dropped Magnum ammo. Because hell, we don't want to run out of that, do we? Sorry, buddy. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Oh my. We have another chainsaw, friendo. Discount Dr. Salvador. He's going to be coming over from there, I believe. Now, when I fought him last time, I was pretty much up against him and all the dogs. Join us. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later, friend. Let's switch up to the Magnum. There's another medical kit there because just in case you really screw everything up, like me, this game's got you covered. Still can't see the chainsaw guy. Hmm. He's slacking. There he is. Hey, buddy. Nice try, friend. Try a little bit harder than that, though. <laughs> and yeah, that, that's that's it. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Well, let's see if there's any more zombies left. There are some more zombies left. Let's go thin them out, shall we? Oh, we got a puker. He's done. Wouldn't want to leave any angry locals alive now, would we? 
Not that I think these guys... Oh, you little shit. Are that much in the way of the living, to be honest. Okay, any more. Any more survivors. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we've tagged a lot. So yeah, we were terrible and we've still got like a large bandage and a full medical kit here. So yeah, the, the developers really, really didn't want you to fail this. For reasons, I suppose. All right, let's continue our exploration of this madhouse. Oh, this is a dead end. Nice little generator there. See, that generator looks in good nick. They could have taken that to their new place of residence, surely. Okay. Now, there must be some... Oh, this is dead end. Is there a map for this place? There actually isn't. I mean, it doesn't matter. This place is fairly linear, in all fairness. It's fairly linear, in all fairness. There's some more quality wordsmithing from me. I mean, they did build quite a fancy-looking little shanty here. Join us. Like hell, I will. Damn lunatics. Very droll, Mr. Paul. Very droll. Bullets. There's some more bullets down here. Be a shame to leave all of those laying around for the roaches. Now, interestingly enough, uh, I don't know what these guys were doing with all these bullets. Were they eating them? I don't know. It's just lucky, I guess, that they're all 38 special rounds. And there's the dock. Now, I'm not sure if this is where Alicia was picked up and then transported to the mansion. And I don't know if we're going to find out. Waterhouse farm. I mean, look, this is quite cozy in an Alabama kind of way. More magnum rounds. I mean, I don't know what you'd really be doing with all these magnum rounds, to be honest with you. I suppose you could just shoot the normal enemies, I guess. But that hardly seems... And look, there's even ointment there. But we can't take it. You have used the padlock key. It was discarded. Excellent. Okay. Survival note. He sits upon a throne of lies. His whole existence is based on deceit and manipulation. If you find this note, then it means that you too have succumbed to his false prophecy as well. The master has been around since the dawn of man. That much is true. Everything else, the change, the great sea change, I think that means the, the great sea of change or something. I don't know, that just seems odd to me. Uh, that will make men immortal, to make men gods, is all smoke and mirrors. His true goal is chaos, apocalypse. As I write this, I am one of the few survivors of his last ceremony, where I watched hundreds of my so-called brothers and sisters, initiates of the change, transform into awful, ravenous creatures. At first, we were all so enamored with his presence, with his prof promise, that we ignored the obvious red flags. He came to us in our dreams, summoned us like a divine spirit. His strict orders for all of us to have zero communication with the outside world should have been a warning sign. Then there is that hulking shell of a man they call the gatekeeper, that poor soul, who even after his sons were murdered by the master's hand, swore allegiance to that damned con artist in exchange for immortality. Robbed of his own property, surrendering his mansion to the master, he truly has nothing left to lose. He is a walking testament to the master's ruthlessness. If you're reading this, you must run. Only death and suffering awaits for you in his company. So that is how the master got his uh, fancy new mansion. It belonged to the gatekeeper, which is pretty interesting. 
And that ends our little run through the uh, Alfred Town. Holy Bible. That's interesting. Which particular Bible? I don't think it's the Christian Bible. Just a guess. Maybe it is. I don't know. And anyway, now we're back with Alicia departing the boat. Alicia's memory entry X. Okay. Did we read the, the last few? Finally getting a sense of the how huge the mansion property is. I've been trying to get through the mass there. Uh, I don't know if we did read these. I'll read them anyway. Uh, I'm finally getting a sense of how huge the mansion property is. I've been trying to get through this massive sprawling maze of, gar of a garden, encountering new kinds of horrifying creatures as I try to find clues as to what happened to Emily. On top of these vile new creatures, something totally different is chasing me. I get a sense he is unlike the other creatures that I've encountered so far. He displays cunning, intelligence, is incredibly strong, and he doesn't seem to be faced by bullets. It's almost seems like he's protecting something, trying to scare me off. Is he connected to Emily's disappearance? I think we actually did read that. There's so much occult symbolism around this place. What does it all mean? I have to keep, I keep having to solve puzzles and trying to get a better understanding of the esoteric nature of this place. I have somehow found myself in what looks like catacombs or an underground crypt. I know now he's uh, the human-like beasts that relentlessly chased me. He is the one that brought me to this damn island in the first place. He seems to be some kind of caretaker or gatekeeper. I've managed to elude him for now. I've found an elevator down here. I don't know where it could possibly go. So the master actually granted him immortality, which is interesting. Memory X. Oh my god. Emily, at last. I thought it was Emily. That gatekeeper bastard chased me into his ca this cabin on the outskirts of the swamp. And that is where I found her. She was in a cage, trying to tell me something. She looked so different. So much older. But I know my daughter. Regardless of the drugs and the trauma that have corrupted my memories, you cannot break that maternal bond. I thought I'd finally found my baby girl, but then she just disappeared and I was ambushed by more of those goddamn monsters. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I've seen so many insane things since I've been here. Portals, monsters, alternate worlds. I have to be going crazy, right? But what about Paul? He seems to be the only normal thing in this whole place. Unless he's just a hallucination too. How the hell is all this going to end? Well, I don't know. And I genuinely don't know. Because I haven't finished the game yet. However, we are going to save the game here, guys because we're on 18 minutes, so it seems pertinent. This is also possibly the most important save point of the game because where we're going from here is going to sprawl out the endings. So this is quite pivotal. Pivotal? Yeah, pivotal. This is literally, uh, yeah, the sort of point of no return if you want to get all of the endings. And we do want to get all of the endings. So we're going to make a safety save right down there. So we can have at least some control over destiny. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.